Alright, Cameron, here we are in part two. Um, as I put you up against Matt Harvey. Okay, not the easiest comparison. Uh, I kind of think you have similar mechanics on where your hand positioning is and your arm action. Uh, and he does drop down a lot too, so I think that's pretty similar. He does stand up more than I would want as a pitcher, but he's Matt Harvey, so he can do that. Uh, so let's watch. Here you are from the side, here's Harvey from the side, and you'll see see how he really gets down. He's kind of standing up, but uh, he really does get out extended. Alright, so we'll watch you. All in all, that's really clean. I like it. But let's look at a couple things, maybe we can look to try to correct see what we can improve get Harvey to come back to alright so here we are everything's good here as we move on and get to balance position alright Got a good balance position. Let's look at you. It's good. Now, we talked about this. Look at his back leg. Pretty straight. A little bit of bend in there. You can't really see it right here, but look at that back leg right there. It is bending quite a bit. All right. Not too bad. But enough to where your motion when you push is to collapse it. There it goes more. And I think that's one of the biggest things you fight. And sometimes when it collapses more than others, you get to here. And from this position, it is hard to get on top of the ball. And that's why the tendency sometimes is that you get really high on your things because you get this arm and elbow so far out in front and underneath it you can't create angle down you can create depth from it that way so uh, one thing I may want to talk about and see what we can do is maybe think about being a little taller you want to have a little flex in that back knee but a little taller at the beginning so that we don't have as much the tendency to plow so let's look as we break down here all right he's very linear as he takes everything towards the target I have some pretty good images of him going from behind and you can see where he's at. He's going towards the plate. All right, let's watch here. As you go, hands break. I like it right here. Balance, breaking down. You can see how you're here now. As you get to here, we can talk about that foot again. It's not terrible, but it's something we could work a little bit more. I mean, you still stay pretty close with your lower half, but look how you're leaving that toe. Look at Harvey here. He's still closed up until right there. He gets to foot strike. Look at his hips. Hips closed. Knee closed. And then late rotation out in front. All right. Look at you. Land. Look at your knee and your hips starting to open, but f mostly you're still pretty close. And now here comes the rotation out in front. That back leg, because you collapsed, it's still hanging out back here where it could be a little bit more up, which is going to allow you to get more out in front. This is one of those where look at where you release it up here instead of being able to release it a little more out in front all right fine line between being on top and being underneath look at this right here where you release that ball i think you can get a little bit more where your body's a little more out in front because you've got your lower half more involved where you haven't collapsed and that's going to allow you to be more consistently on top 
There you are here. You do get to your flat position. You're there. Look at him. He does too. He just stays very upright when he finishes. Creates his momentum. His force to come upright. I prefer you finish like that. All right. It's so pretty consistently. So a couple things that I think about. Making sure another thing too is that you are consistent in how you break. All right. I like it here. This is good. Good arm action. Thumbs going in the right direction. Everything here is going linear towards your target. I like where your shoulders are at, where your head's at. It allow you to be able to repeat that consistently. All right, I like that you're not at this angle here. Like everything's going smooth and going downhill. Your problem occurs in your lower half. Your upper arm action is good. You're getting good. You're getting good rotation. Blocking off here. Look at your extension. Look at that chest. That's good. You are chest over the front leg. You could just get a little bit more where your body is allowing your hand to get out in front a little bit more and get that hand out to extension. So um, I think that's one thing you're going to work on is really maybe maximizing a little bit more the lower half by maybe trying to stay a little bit more closed, a little bit more upright with the back side, then allow for that late rotation and where you can really drive and stay on top of the ball. All in all, it's good, clean. Uh, I think the um, hardest thing for you is going to be consistently throwing that four-seamer away to the lower half, which you're going to have to do. You're going to make your living probably throwing those two-seamers into the righties and away to lefties, but you've got to be able to spot that, foul, uh, that fastball, the outside, the glove side. Um, and that's also going to help you be more consistent to get on top of your breaking ball, which is good. Uh, the changeup's coming along. I like the new grip. We'll consistently try to see if we can throw that in the throwing program as you find one that's more consistent for you to get this arm action out in front. We get that changeup grip. You get that uh, pronation and extension, and that's where it's really going to have good action. So all in all, we're good, making progress, um, and really have a good base and foundation to, to go with here.